second class now grade 8 uh, it is my second class to you and uh, in today's class uh, we are going to read about uh, uh, a new lesson uh, that is a uh, visit to do godavari okay and that is one of the same texts uh, given in your textbook. Dear uh, students, uh, this lesson, uh, a visit to Godavari, uh, is in the form of dialogue, uh, in the form of uh, conversation, the talk. Okay, and uh, what a dialogue is, you are very much familiar with. Uh, it is a form of conversation. Uh, dialogue is a conversation or the other form of uh, discourse between the two or more individuals. Yeah, and uh, the exchange of uh, spoken words uh, between the two or more characters uh, in book or uh, the other written works also are called dialogue and. Uh, Dialogue plays very important role in our day-to-day -day, uh, life. Uh, dialogue promotes uh, better understanding. If you do not understand something else, uh, if you promote dialogues, uh, then you will uh, be more clear about the things, what the people have said, uh, isn't that? And the other people also will get the, the opportunity uh, to be clear from you uh, too. Uh, therefore, uh, dialogues are important to remove misunderstanding uh, and to promote uh, the better relations uh, and uh, reduce the tensions as well uh, so uh, in today's lesson uh, the topic is uh, visit to godavari and it is presented in the form of uh, dialogue okay uh, now let's uh, uh, start the lesson and dear students, uh, before starting the lesson, uh, let's uh, see some pictures of uh, Godavari because the lesson is related to this place uh, and uh, I have brought uh, some pictures for you. Uh, let's uh, see the pictures first and then we will enter into the uh, lesson, the text. Okay, uh, everyone, uh, look at here. Uh, this is the entrance kit of the place we are going to talk about uh, the bird the herding bird sign bird uh, it says that uh, national botanical garden uh, you know a bit of botanical garden botany it is uh, related to plants right uh, a botanical garden is a place where a varieties of plants are found and godavari uh, yeah, is a botanical uh, garden it says so uh, and uh, the next picture is also from there uh, just it is for your information uh, and to build up your mind okay uh, there are uh, the plants that are trimmed in different shapes to make them attractive uh, and the next picture uh, that shows the beautiful scenery and greenery uh, of the place uh, and uh, this picture uh, the next picture shows uh, that uh, this place is uh, visited by many people isn't that so there is a crowd of uh, people uh, visiting uh, Godavari uh, and uh, this is uh, perhaps the final picture uh, and this picture also shows that uh, there are many people uh, scattering here and there. Uh, what does that reflect? Uh, many people visit Godavari for different purposes. Uh, we can see there the, in the uh, in the picture. Uh, some people are li uh, living in the group, and others are roaming here and there. Uh, anyway, there is a mass, great mass of people. Uh, th this picture proves that um, uh, many people, for different reason. Uh, a visit uh, Godavari. Uh, okay, 
Uh, dear students, now we are going to uh, enter into the text, the proper text given. Uh, can you see it? I hope. Uh, a visit to Godavari. Uh, graduate students uh, of Kardagalakshmi School uh, went for a visit to Godavari in Lalitpur district. Uh, they studied about uh, many uh, plants there and enjoyed uh, its scenery, scenic beauty. When they returned to school, Surajan the leader of the visiting team answered the questions asked by the students who were uh, able, unable to attend the trip. Uh, this paragraph forms the background of the uh, conversation. Okay, now what does it say? Uh, it's like your teachers sometimes organize a uh, short trip to some places for specific purposes. Uh, the students of uh, grade 8 uh, from uh, Kharkalakshu school also uh, <coughs> they were taken to the trip <coughs> to Godavari and it says the, about the location of Godavari it is in Lalitpur district uh, and not all the students got opportunity to uh, take part in the trip and uh, some of the students which were left behind uh, asked uh, question they wanted to know about uh, what the participant students uh, see, observed, realized, felt while going to uh, Godavari. And in this poem, some of the students who were absent in the tree, uh, they asked the question to the participant uh, uh, who uh, was uh, in the uh, tree. Here, the citizen is the representative uh, from the participant team, and there are other students, uh, including Vinod and uh, uh, we will see who were there and they are asking uh, the questions and let's know uh, what, what, were, what were the questions and uh, how they had uh, answered okay uh, the first question is asked by Vina uh, his question is uh, tell us something uh, interesting about uh, Godavari yes uh, and Srijana uh, has answered it uh, Godavari is a beautiful place situated at the base of the uh, hill full of exotic and local plants varieties. The phone and also the houses were very popular. Uh, the Japanese garden which is uh, in the northernwest part of uh, the area is also the site to see. Uh, this last region is the home uh, of many plants and there are four types of oak trees uh, in their leaves. Uh, the remaining green uh, all the year round. Uh, in addition, rhododendron, wild walnuts, uh, dark chestnuts, and the Himalayan maples are uh, other spices found in the garden. Uh, it is uh, as uh, its climate is subtropical. Uh, more than 529 uh, spices of butterflies and plants are found in Godavari. Yes, uh, she has answered uh, the question uh, that. Godavari is a place where different varieties of plants, both exotic uh, uh, and uh, the other uh, plants are uh, found here. Uh, she has put some example too, uh, like orchid, uh, oak, rhododendron, uh, and dark chestnuts, Himalayan maples. Uh, these types of plants are found in this uh, place and Godavari its location is also given here that is on the base of the uh, hill and uh, uh, dear students uh, uh, the words uh, at the bottom uh, of the slide uh, are difficult words uh, their meaning you may uh, be confused about uh, the exotic lust uh, and uh, what is subtropical these are the words included there now uh, you can see the meaning if you uh, are not clear about them and the pictures there are some pictures uh, that are the name of the pictures are also given there uh, also maples uh, and phones okay uh, see uh, let's go uh, forward uh, next uh, now uh, next uh, Mamata Mamata uh, is asking the question and Srizana is again answering her question and let's see what is her uh, 
question and how she has answered okay uh, did you have to write about what uh, uh, you observed in Godavari? Yes, uh, where you assigned any task, uh, where you assigned to prepare any project or make notes about uh, your trip or your daily? Uh, it is her uh, question. And how Sirsena has answered? Uh, yes, of course, it means they had to prepare a report, they had to write uh, about uh, their, about what they had seen and observed there okay uh, I, we we were asked to write a such report on uh, godavari's butterfly especially they were given the topic to write about uh, butterflies uh, and animals in april many butterflies uh, many of them with uh, cleaning uh, sallow tails folk around uh, the beautiful flowers uh, and uh, Godavari is uh, a shelter uh, for over a hundred of species of butterflies ranging from uh, trap beaks to blue peacocks. Uh, the students, the pictures here are included. Uh, that are uh, one is the upper one is of uh, trap beaks and the lower one that is uh, uh, blue peacocks. Uh, these are the just the examples. Uh, she says there are uh, a variety. Uh, of butterflies, different species of butterflies uh, are found in this uh, place. Okay, now uh, let's move to the next one. Uh, this question is asked by Anju. She is the another participant. She also uh, could not attend the trip. And her question is: uh, I have heard Godavari is a famous picnic uh, spot as well. Now, is it true? And Susanna answers it, uh, that's right. Uh, Godavari's uh, beauty and uh, uh, plants attract many people uh, who go there to enjoy a picnic, uh, especially on Saturdays. Large group of people together other food, uh, uh, cookouts, varieties of uh, food items. Uh, they are prepared and several uh, in papers and leaflets because they uh, are biodegradable. Uh, picnics are often uh, uh, associated with the festivals uh, and this and that. that okay. And now uh, uh, we come to the point. Uh, what it says is that uh, Godavari is it famous and uh, do people visit Godavari? Uh, that is the question. And Susan answers that yes, it is uh, on holidays, on vacations, uh, when people get time, uh, they organize the different sorts of program in Godavari. Uh, and uh, many people go for uh, entertainment, uh, go for recreations uh, there. And these pictures also show uh, the same thing. Uh, there are people, uh, some people are having fun, yeah, uh, involving in the uh, picnic, okay? So uh, Godavari is uh, a famous place. It, it, it is visited, visited by many people, but for different reasons. Some people go there for the research uh, and mostly uh, it is full of different types of plants uh, and butterflies, uh, it, it is said here in the uh, text. And uh, now, dear students, uh, move to the next one. Uh, this is the final uh, conversation, uh, final talk. Uh, here, uh, Anil is asking the uh, question and Susanna has answered uh, it. Uh, how can we uh, reach from here, uh, from Kathmandu, and uh, how would you uh, appeal the other people to visit there? And uh, the question says that, uh, if anyone is interested, how can they visit Gadavari? That is the question. And another question is that, uh, is there any special about Gadavari? Why do you suggest people to go there? This is the question. And Godavari uh, is uh, within easy reach uh, from Kathmandu's ring road. Uh, you can take a public vehicle, minibus, microbus, uh, or the private car, taxi. It means that uh, the transportation uh, has an access there. Uh, you can uh, use any sort of vehicles, motorbikes, bus, taxis. Uh, uh, they, they can reach there easily. Uh, and uh, for the next question, she says that, uh, well, visiting place like Godavari provides us with recreation and inspiration to study the nature. Yes, uh, the question was, uh, what? Uh, why do you suggest uh, 
people to visit to this place. It means she says that uh, it is one of the beautiful places, uh, and uh, one can go there for recreation and uh, uh, inspiration too. Uh, it provides us inspiration. Uh, it is a peaceful area with uh, greenery and beautiful scenes. Uh, therefore, uh, you can visit this for this purpose. Uh, now, dear students, uh, we have read the text. Uh, uh, a short uh, dialogue, a conversation uh, between the uh, students uh, of grade 8, among the students of uh, uh, grade 8 uh, from uh, Kharka Lakshmi school. Uh, especially, uh, here we have to consider two things. Uh, one thing, we got some points about Godavari. Uh, it is a botanical garden, a varieties of uh, plants uh, are uh, there, uh, found there. More than that, uh, we also learn to describe okay, uh, a place. Before describing how to describe a place, we should also learn from this lesson. Uh, while describing a place, uh, first of all, you write the name of the place, uh, its uh, and then its location, right? Where to? Uh, where is it located? And third, how to go there? What is the access? Okay, and then after describe uh, the special features uh, of the place, and what is the center of attraction there, why is it famous and popular, why do people like to go there, uh, this sort of informations are also included uh, in the description of uh, the place. And so, now I uh, have assigned the similar type of homework for you, uh, okay? Uh, here, uh, write a paragraph uh, describing a place you have uh, lately visited. This is uh, the question, and I have given hints for you to. The main objective of the lesson is uh, to make you, uh, to give you the idea how to describe a place. Therefore, for the same reason, I have included some points for your uh, help. Uh, so, look at the points. This is the key answer for you. Uh, okay, this, this set these questions is the header and go on answering the questions and that will be a beautiful paragraph. Okay, uh, when? So when did you visit the place? Select the place you have recently visited. Okay, uh, write when you visited the place. Where was the place located? Its location with the district, with the municipality. Uh, uh, okay, like these informations, uh, and uh, how uh, how did you go there on foot, trekking, uh, using the vehicle, bus, taxis, and with whom you went there? Uh, who, whether you uh, uh, went there with your friends, uh, relatives, your parents, who were with you? Uh, insert this type of information, and then what did you see there? what attracted you most okay uh, include these points uh, and uh, what what was your feeling how you felt was it in joyful or you were sad to see okay you include this uh, point this points to and what was special about the place too uh, so uh, now you are much clear about that we read about Godavari and uh, Godavari is a place it is described in the text now you have to learn to describe the place of your own you can write about your village your own town or any other place you have recently visited but uh, include these points okay the special features name the location uh, access and uh, so on. And this is a very short lesson. Uh, so uh, let's uh, stop here. I hope that uh, I will continue uh, the next lesson with uh, in the next class. Uh, thank you.